circling it back. So we were talking about fear mongering, right? And I want to ask the opposition this uh, this question: Do you agree that there's some fear mongering that happens in certain feminist communities? Some so, fear mongering in certain, I, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it would have to okay. be right. W- what about you, Dina? Uh, fear mongering is a uh, yeah, sure. I mean, okay. I, I can't imagine that doesn't happen in every community. Can you be more specific, though? Uh, yeah, can you be more yeah, over overestimating the uh the danger that men post to women, uh, making it seem like every guy's like a rapist who's gonna try to take advantage of her I and mean, stuff like well, that. Well, I mean, plenty of like red pill men think the exact same thing. So I mean, it's just kind of like yeah, right, right. But, but I, well, right. Before. But I've been super yeah. critical about the red pill. Now, sure. I agree. This the reverse happens in the red pill. They fear monger guys. Well, no, it's not the reverse. It's the same. What do you mean? Well, because they're both fear mongering over the same thing that like basically all men are like all like you 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 pass a guy in the street and he's probably going to rape you or whatever like i mean well, no, the, 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 men the same way because they're like i have to protect you the, so no, like, the, it the, kind the of is the exact same the, point the red pill right? is fear mongering when it comes to false allegations they're literally they're saying like you know if you go talk to a girl oh, okay. they could they could but, like call the police on you might go to jail uh if you go out with a girl but, you know uh, if she's a 304, you know, she's probably going to get you locked up. So they're fear mongering uh, in a similar thing, but in a little bit of a different direction. So, okay, so we've acknowledged that there's some fear mongering that happens in both the manosphere, which I agree with you on, and some certain feminist circles. Can I add a caveat to that? Because I agree, I agree there's some, but but again, I think when, when we're yeah. talking about these different phenomena, um, like between like false allegations and like actual uh like actual assault to varying degrees, like, like even conservative, even conservative estimates, it's like, like one in six women will like have some sort of like sexual assault. Right. So like, rather than like being like, and not, it's definitely not the case that like one in six or even one in 60 men are going to be struck by lightning, um, which is what you uh, compare the rate for, for false allegations to. So false, I think that no, the sorry, scale false, is really false, important. False here for understanding convictions, like, not on. false allegations, false convictions. Um, they are, they are different. Uh, I don't. Sure. I don't know if we have a stat okay. on like how likely someone is to get accused of a false allegation in without going to the police and social media. Uh, it's happened to me. Uh, just again, she didn't go to the police. Just social media. It's happened to a lot of people I know. But again, I don't know. So well, I, I, t- I mean, not to not to get personal. I don't want. I don't want to talk about your like your, anybody of your specific friends no, like, issues. Now. But okay. I. But I guess you you and maybe maybe in some of those cases, like you know for sure that it didn't happen. But I imagine in others, like you just kind of believe your friend. You don't you don't really know like what the, these two people went through like in a in a one on one setting, right? Well, I mean, I know in my case that I met the girl for sure. about ten seconds, so it'd be pretty. Well, I'm not, I'm not talking, yeah, I'm not talking about yours. Right? Right, right in 10 seconds uh no like the way i look at i try to look at both sides of the story and the way my friends explained the story it was like hey he didn't want to buy her uh like a fucking gucci bag and then he was she was like basically saying yeah if you don't buy me this blah 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 so typical sugar baby shit but anyway so to bring it back so we acknowledge there's that some of that negative uh you know um fear mongering do you think that negative fear mongering that kind of rhetoric will negatively affect certain women who are in that community like that tiktok girl um, you're not confusing me. So, what do you mean by negative fear mongering? You're, you're saying about the false allegations because like, you keep no, saying so fear mongering so, okay. and using it in a lot of different no, ways. I think, so I think he's clarify. asking. I think he's asking us if, um, like the the fear mongering about uh the dangers that men pose to women, if that's uh producing outcomes right. like this person uh, or like this TikToker, right? Um, if that's making this like more likely for people to be in her shoes and feel like they're in danger when they're probably not. Is that right? I mean, I guess I. I is that what he, you're saying, Alex? Yeah, that's what I'm asking. Is it- Basically, yeah, that's what I'm okay. saying. Um, I would say the fear mongering itself, uh, yeah, absolutely. But where it's coming from is where I think we have the disagreement, where I think that it's mostly coming from like either some like psychotic man hating freaks, um, like feminists, which of course do exist, but um, or it's mostly, in my opinion, like men who feel like they need to terrify women all of the other men are coming for you You need me to protect you and that's just going to create somebody like that because even in that video that we're talking about the one with the woman in the car she's talking about her husband like saying that he should have been with me like he he tells me this happens all the time like something like that like like it it really kind of seems like that was coming from more him than any sort of like feminist ideology that i don't imagine that woman uh uh, yeah, so uh, I, th- I think if we I think if we were honestly looking at TikToks, if we were honestly looking at true crime podcasts that are often feminist in nature, right? If we look at the collective of things like True Afuelo and different social media, I would say resoundly we see that the fear around male female relationships on the feminine side is very much spearheaded 
by more feminist leading rhetoric, right? Um, absolutely, as somebody who's been in multiple Twitter battles with people, there are absolutely people, for example, saying, never say no, it's dangerous, right? They say, telling women to ch- say no is dangerous to women. Don't say this, right? Women are very like at risk. Be careful. If you reach your hand in a bag of M&Ms, but one of them is poison, right? With men being the M&Ms, why would you ever take a bite, right? This rhetoric, as somebody who listens to lots of true crime podcasts and stuff, is absolutely coming out of the feminist space. So I'm not saying that men aren't reinforcing that as well, but I would say like, it just is being championed. The fact that 2X chromosomes is one of the biggest, it is the biggest feminist rhetoric and it, uh, a Reddit page. And all through it is constant, constant, constant fear mongering, constantly reminding women about how easily they could be victimized, constantly reminding them of how dangerous men are, how parasitic men are, and how men are always going to be looking to take from them and never taking no as an answer, right? This is absolutely inundated in common pop feminism. Just to add on that, the stuff you're talking about, which the red pill fear mongering doesn't reach the majority of women. It's other dudes who are watching that. Like, like, Russian fit is like 5% women. Like, so, and those are the women who are not never going to be feminists anyway. So like, there's, there's two different, there's different worlds in the internet. And yeah, like those women, like the feminist woman, it's not like they're watching Fresh and Fit, they're watching Andrew Tate, and they're watching some feminist stuff. No, they're following, watching their feminist stuff. So yeah, I don't think it's playing any kind of substantial role. I do, th- I do agree with Kyle, it might reinforce uh, already bad beliefs, but I think the predominant amount of those uh, fear mongering is coming from their circles. Well, to that last point, the point about like it not coming from like fresh and fit. I mean, even even the stuff that that does kind of uh, come from these more like red pill style podcasts. It's not it's not like you have to like be a, a viewer um, to end up like getting uh, be, like hearing this rhetoric and becoming susceptible to this. Okay, rhetoric. Well, who do we, life hold on, hold on. Let's just this, let's just go back to the it. basics. Mm-hmm. Where is the idea of getting more popular is by people like in Hollywood, Drew Afuelo, various true crime podcasts, popular feminist TikTokers, or conservative trad con spaces? Who do you think is teaching young women more often the idea that they need to be afraid of men? Where do you think young women are getting this from? Because young women certainly believe it a lot of the time. Honestly, I bet I bet most of it still comes from like people's dads, like more than anything, the earliest, and they hear it. Well, I, I, I think all of think them that. probably do. Yeah. But, but yeah, I agree. It like comes from all of those. But I, like, it's such it's just such a common thing. This idea that like oh, men are dangerous, men are really well, dangerous. Well, like, and it comes from families. Uh, like, I, I would say this well, is really prevalent. I, 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 I actually I don't know how to engage with you guys seriously. Okay, I've listed multiple Reddits that are massively popular feminist spaces. Uh, we're I've not familiar Drew with uh, those Reddits. Yeah, I've, I'm listing other people just because you're not familiar with the mediums sure they're multi-million followed the Mm. idea that women should be afraid of men and that men are always dangerous is absolutely popular in feminist spaces i'm not disagreeing with feminist that is exactly where well, I got is it. that not true that men are stronger and stuff so like no, but that's not what they're saying they're, fear- they're saying that every man well, is going to try to take that, advantage though, of you like, every she... man is going to try to rape you like come on like, i think I'm it's like well, kind of a little bit of common sense here to be like okay well so you should be able to protect yourself this kind of goes for like that's, all that's people right? that's, like, that's right. just to be clear though it's not about common uh-huh. sense because assertiveness training is my fucking favorite thing <laughs> i want because there is you're right there is an element where women do need to have higher safety minds like mindfulness which sucks right, that's for all women. i'm saying i didn't say it was common sense i'm just saying that i i sure. think that we could all agree well, that's that, not, that that's is not you know, sure that is there. and assert just wait or just assertiveness say. is valuable but just to be clear assertiveness Absolutely. training is very unpopular in feminist spaces as well mm-hmm.